All right, in this video, we're gonna go over one of my favorite new plugins for OBS as part of our OBS Super User Guidebook. It's called Source Dock. And what it allows you to do is to dock a full preview window of any source inside of the OBS interface with a variety of extra controls that makes plug and play kind of point and click controls available for OBS a reality. So let's take a look. What's up guys? Just wanted to remind everybody you can get a free copy of the OBS Super User Guidebook in the link below. You can pick up a paperback copy on Amazon. And if you like these types of videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and if there's anything we can do better, or if you have a question about this video, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to reply. All right, so when you get to source docs on the OBS forum, you have a couple different options for downloading this. It's supported on Windows, Mac, and Linux, and we've got really nice installer for Windows. For Mac and for Linux, you're gonna have to move the files over manually. Once installed though, it's very easy to use. You can see I've already kind of got it going on here in my browser, my OBS interface here. This is a source doc right here, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of it so we can start from the beginning. What you wanna do is go to tools, source doc. And what that does is it brings up a list of sources that you can add as source docs. So I'm gonna make this a little bigger here because there's a lot of options. We wanna have some space to see what we're doing. So first of all, we can choose almost any source. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose my full screen webcam source, give it a title, and I'm gonna hit add. What that does is it automatically creates a dockable source right there. Now one of the things you'll notice is that it's kind of small, and that's because there's this whole big text area here that we can get rid of, boom. So basically, there's all of these options to make it available to you. For example, is it visible or is it not visible? Is it, does it have a preview screen? Does it not have a preview screen? Do you want to have a volume meter with it? Do you want to have audio controls with it? Do you want to have media controls? All of these options start to show up. Do you want to be able to switch scenes by clicking it? Do you want to show active? Do you want to be able to jump into properties or filters, for example? So I like being able to jump into the properties and filters, but that's about all I really need for most of these source docs. Now let's add another one and let's add our countdown scene. Boom, add our countdown scene. And we're gonna go ahead and hit add and boom, we've got it. Once again, we've got it back here. We can put them right next to each other. Let's get rid of that big text field. And as you can see here, now, not only do we have access to seeing the live preview of both of these, we can click them to get to them, which is really, really cool. So this is such a good feature for making it kind of plug and play, easy scene switching. Although, as I, I want to mention for, for those of you who might not be thinking about this, is that the multi-view gives you a similar capability. So if you're just using source stocks, as a way to quickly click where you want something to go, you're having a visual representation. Keep in mind the multi-view does the same thing for up to eight scenes. So it could be valuable to use the multi-viewer in a second window scenario, but source docs allows you a lot of extra, extra flexibility and allows you to dock these sources directly into your OBS interface. So I'm a big fan. I think it's great. That's how it works. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So as you can tell, I'm a huge fan of the Source Docs plugin. A lot of these plugins that we're talking about in the book can be used together, and that's kind of the beauty of it. You can kind of pick and choose which plugins work for you. Source Docs is definitely one I feel like a lot of you out there are gonna find valuable to have previews within the OBS interface, clickable transitions. It makes it a very intuitive, especially for you know pretty much anybody out there that wants to have kind of a point and click user interface. Now I'll mention that the multi-viewer has a similar functionality. So if you've got multiple monitors, you might want to have the multi-viewer in a second monitor. And remember, those are clickable as well. So if source docs is taking up too much space in your interface, consider using the multi-viewer, which has similar capabilities. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.